What's up YouTube? Mitch with I-95 Muscle. We have a uh, saucy 87 Mustang notch back for you today. It is a street legal race car. So all your uh, headlights, taillights, wipers are working. Uh, DOT 275's on it. It has billet aluminum wheels. Aerospace components, front brakes with uh, cross drilled slotted rotors, a very well built 347 under the hood. We'll show you that. I'll show you how to use all this stuff they have in here. And uh, give you a chance to check it out. We'll pop the hood because that's where all the uh, magic happens, right? Just kidding, let's go to the trunk first. Purple paint is in pretty good shape. The roof has some defects. Probably just showing the age of the paint. Maybe non-perfect prep work 20 years ago. Tubbed. Uh, is a caged car. Ooh, Fiesta. Uh, battery reload. Here is a swing out door bar kit for the roll cage if you would like to cut it in and what it does is put a little pin here and a hinge down there so that that comes out with the door or as far as the door makes it easier to get in and out of it does have a rear seat delete tons of gauges all the switches uh, the heat and blower motor does work which is nice on a car like this because if that's been removed you know you could run into a situation where your windshield steams up or fogs up makes things hard to see here's the 347 i just had it sitting still hang on guys i'm doing a, a prop rod uh. All right, I just had it sitting still, taking pictures of it for 10 or 15 minutes. And with the fan on, a massive electric fan there, it never got over like 150 degrees. So you could see the fuel regulator from auto meter. It goes into a brawler carburetor, MSD, ignition, coil, distributor, Brawler, there's that big old electric fan, little overflow thermostatic switch. It has a uh, dial on it there to adjust. The transmission is a power glide, built to hold a ton of horsepower. I think just about every other transmission would would shatter on a launch. So they do have a trans brake hooked up. This is your button to hold your trans brake or reverse active. So you would line it up, put in drive, well low because it's a manual gearbox, and let go of the button. And the car is gonna take you for a ride.
roll cage. Oh, I did it smooth that time, guys. So, we've got volts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3,252 miles on the build. The speedometer works. The fuel gauge works. Probably want to run 93 octane in it. This thing's pretty high compression. Uh, the rear end is a spooled 456 uh, with the gearing of the power glide and the tw uh, 275 rear tires. I think that equals a, a uh, what you call it, 29 and a half is uh, the 275.50. And then tack, amperage, water temp, oil pressure, vacuum, and fuel pressure, not fuel level, fuel pressure. Uh, there's your blower motor. And timing control. You can even uh, adjust your max RPM and your launch control for uh, two different settings for your race and your burnout. So, for the power glide, this would be reverse, but it's not going to go backward until you hold the reverse engagement button. And then you would have neutral, low, and then high once you're up to speed. A little digital tack here too tied into your uh, controller. So, uh, manual steer box off the sport rack, so bear with me as I try to turn and take a video at the same time. That noise was my elbow hitting the roll cage. Ah, not something under the car. There's your speedometer working. toy here. So this car is available on i95muscle.com if it's still available when you're watching this. We have financing, we take trades, we can offer shipping through Boomstick Transport. So if you want this car, we can get it to you. So, 
a little bit of seat time with this car. He could be taking home some trophies, whether you're going to car shows or tracks. Reverse lockout here. Really like the BM Pro Stick, it's my favorite uh, speed shifter. Glad you weren't here to see me get out. Walk around this side in the sun a little bit. Didn't mean to go on for 11 minutes, but it's a lot of car to talk about. Hope you had fun watching. Let us know what you think.